The 2023 Hyundai Tucson struts a cutting-edge style that stands out among its more sober-looking compact SUV competitors. That doesn't mean that the Tucson sacrifices practicality or affordability. It boasts both. Hyundai has taken the blanket approach with the Tucson, offering a wide variety of trims and powertrains, including a hybrid and plug-in hybrid, giving it broad appeal. The entry-level powertrain is a 2.5-liter four-cylinder but the hybrid and plug-in hybrid models use a turbocharged 1.6-liter four that's buttressed by an electric motor, a combination that provides more pep. Entry-level models of the Tucson are nicely equipped while higher-end trims cross the line from mainstream to premium, giving it an edge over rivals such as the Honda CR-V, the Toyota RAV4, and the Volkswagen Tiguan. Before we carry on with the video, can you please smash the like button and the subscribe button duh, which will enter you in a $50 Bitcoin giveaway. Now let's carry on with the video. The 2023 Hyundai Tucson is available in 7 trim levels with 3 engines offered. 5 trim levels, SE, SEL, XRT, N-Line and Limited, feature the conventional gasoline engine. The hybrid comes in 3 trims, Blue Hybrid, SEL Convenience Hybrid and Limited Hybrid. While the standard gasoline engine can be had with front or all-wheel drive and uses an 8-speed automatic, the hybrid comes standard with all-wheel drive and a 6-speed automatic transmission. Following a complete redesign for the 2022 model year, the Tucson sees only a few packaging changes for 2023. The premium package has been eliminated from the SEL model and its contents have been distributed as standard features to other trim levels. For example, the panoramic sunroof is now standard on the N-Line trim and the larger 10.3-inch infotainment screen can be found on all XRT trims and up. Adaptive cruise control, pedestrian detection, and a speed limit assist feature are now standard on all Tucson trims. Serenity White Pearl replaces quartz white on the Tucson's exterior color palette. After sampling the Tucson's various powertrains, we think the hybrid represents the sweet spot between performance, features, and price. We suggest the SEL Convenience Hybrid trim as it comes standard with heated front seats, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, a sunroof, and a 10.3-inch digital gauge display, among other niceties. A 187 HP 2.5-liter four-cylinder will be standard and comes with an 8-speed automatic and either front or all-wheel drive. A turbocharged 1.6-liter four will power hybrid and plug-in hybrid models, which is good for a combined 226 HP in the former and 261 HP in the latter. All-wheel drive is standard with the electrified powertrains and both come with a 6-speed automatic transmission. The non-hybrid Tucson's performance is adequate at best, so lead-footed drivers will yearn for more power. At our test track, our all-wheel drive limited test vehicle loped to 60 miles per hour in an unimpressive 8.8 .8 seconds, which is nonetheless close to average for this not very swift class of SUVs. The more powerful Tucson hybrid and plug-in hybrid are both quicker, but don't expect the sports car-like acceleration of Toyota's RAV4 Prime from them. At our test track, our loaded limited hybrid test vehicle managed a reasonable 7.1 second run to 60 miles per hour. While the Tucson is no sports car, its handling is confident, its steering is reasonably crisp, and its ride is agreeable. What's most striking about the Tucson's driving demeanor is how quiet and refined it feels when cruising. It's these traits that give the SUV a sense of luxury that is rare to find in this class. The plug-in hybrid model sports a 13.8-KWH battery pack that is said to offer up to 33 miles of electric-only driving, according to the EPA. A 7.2-KW onboard charger allows the battery to be fully recharged in about two hours when connected to a level 2 charging station. The Tucson sports a simplistic but modern dashboard design with a digital gauge display, a push-button shifter and a touch-sensitive control panel for the climate control system and infotainment. Hyundai's flagship Palisade SUV and the brand's recently redesigned Sonata and Elantra sedans have served as a sort of watershed moment for the company's interior designs, and the new Tucson continues the trend with a thoughtfully arranged interior filled with quality materials and luxury features. The Tucson's rear seat space and cargo area are both larger than the outgoing model, 
providing more passenger comfort and practicality. Behind the hybrid's back row, we fit nine carry-on suitcases, and the luggage capacity rose to 22 bags with the seatbacks stowed. A standard 8.8-inch touchscreen is integrated into the dashboard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A larger 10.3-inch screen with built-in navigation is optional, as are features such as Sirius XM satellite radio and an upgraded Bose stereo system. Other high-tech offerings include Hyundai's digital key smartphone app, which provides lock and unlock features as well as an option for remote start. You can toss plenty of stuff into the back of a Tucson. Its storage capacity of 38.7 cubic feet behind the rear seats is among the largest for small SUVs. Fold down the rear seats and you've got 74.8 cubic feet at your disposal. The low liftover and nice flat floor should make it easy to stack up boxes on moving day or presents during the holidays. The cabin offers decent-sized spaces throughout to hold your small items. The cup holders can hold larger water bottles. It's clear that Hyundai had fun building the Tucson. The expressive exterior design and lots of interesting tech features such as hidden headlights, innovative touchscreen menus and its remote-controlled parking system make that clear. Ultimately, though, these aspects come off as fancy icing on what is a pretty standard cake. The Tucson is hamstrung by a sluggish engine that makes it feel like a chore to drive, and the transmission can be clunky unless driven for maximum efficiency. The Tucson stands out in a crowd, and there is a lot to like about its wealth of standard features. But it falls short of reaching fun-to-drive status in our book. Got small children? Installing a child's seat is as easy as reaching between the rear cushions to locate the latches. The spacious back seat should provide plenty of room for even the most bulky rear-facing seats. The EPA estimates that non-hybrid versions of the Tucson should deliver as high as 26 mpg city and 33 mpg highway with front-wheel drive. Fuel efficiency ratings for the hybrid are as high as 38 mpg city and 38 mpg highway. The plug-in hybrid model earned a rating of 80 mpj combined and delivered 33 miles of electric only driving in the EPA's test. On our 75 mph highway fuel economy route, the hybrid model failed to deliver its EPA estimated 38 mpg, delivering just 28 mpg. In the compact SUV market, only one rival offers as much warranty coverage as the Tucson, and that's its corporate twin, the Kia Sportage. The Hyundai still holds an advantage over the Kia in this area, though, thanks to its generous complementary scheduled maintenance program. The 2023 Hyundai Tucson is likely to fit the same footprint and dimensions as the 2022 Tucson currently for sale. The vehicle sits on a 108.5-inch wheelbase, is 182.3 inches long and 73.4 inches wide. These dimensions create 146.9 cubic feet of total interior volume and 108.2 cubic feet of total passenger room. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. Until next time, see you later.